We're talking Ethan Hunger here. Year three of Hunger versus Hunger. That's really important. Huh? Ethan, tell us what Hunger versus Hunger is about. So Hunger versus Hunger started as a, cha a calorie challenge that uh, one of my friends threw at me just to see during COVID how many calories I could burn during one day. And the first time I did it, it was just me and I went out there and I burned exactly 10,000 and it was for fun and I finished it and I remember saying I am never going to do this again. And then a couple months later one of my friends pointed out that I was a few miles short of doing an Ironman and so I decided to go do it again except hit that Ironman mark so that when I was older I would never look back and say man you were so close you should have done it. Um, except it was in the middle of the pandemic and it kept getting worse and I decided I want to do it as a fundraiser instead because the feedback I got from that first calorie challenge was huge. Um, so I set out that next July to burn as many calories as I could while raising money and I called that one 10,000 calories for $10,000 and I had a foundation, the Jerry H. Walton Foundation, come to me the first week of my fundraising window and say we'll give you the $10,000, we'll make it matchable, go out there, don't worry about the fundraising, just do as much as you can and we'll see what we can get. And so I finished that year with $29,000 and last year was my year two and last year I focused on some local media outlets and just trying to expand out of that inner circle so from people I knew to people that knew people I knew and um, and then pushed to try and burn more calories in a day and see kind of what I could do um, for just getting the word of mouth out about my fundraiser. Um, and then I also tried to reach out to a couple local companies. So that first year, I just had Jerry H. Walton. Last year, I had um, Infusion Solutions and Fairhaven Runners. Walkers, and um, we raised $42,000 last year, which was awesome. Um, and this year, I have gone and tried to reach out to as many local companies as I could and expand that network and use the people that they know and their customer base to focus more on the message of why the Bellingham Food Bank is important and what they're doing for our community and where the need is at right now. Um, and then also use their ability to help fundraise as well. So this year I have 15 sponsors and we're already, I haven't even done my calorie burning day yet and we're already at forty or $37,000, somewhere around there. Um, and right now I'm sitting outside of Banter and I've added a couple new events this year. Um, and one of them is this fun run of run and walk fundraiser at Banter where they're going to be donating $5 per person that shows up and there's some prizes um, generously donated by Fairhaven Runners and Walkers and Banter and then they're doing 100% of their cold brew sales from the day and 15% of their total revenue and it's going to be a lot of fun. We have people showing up here pretty soon and um, then I have the calorie challenge coming up in two weeks and yeah, I'm just trying to see what we can do. We're talking to Ethan Hunger about hunger versus hunger. Now, as you said, during COVID there's been a lot of people going hungry because they lost their jobs, lost their home, lost their means of income. How important is the Bellingham Food Bank? <laughs> it's unbelievably important. Uh, I've been volunteering there for uh, two and a half years now and during that window from when I first started till now, um, the average number of families that rely on the food bank has almost quadrupled. Um, when I first started there, we were at 1,300. Now we're at 4,300 families per week. Uh, everything, it's all going backwards. It's like funding goes down, need goes up. Um, every, it feels like every week when I show up, I'm there every Thursday, every week. Um, they say that they broke a new record for most people who came and shopped on a Tuesday or most people who had home delivery on Friday. It's, uh, I grew up here and it's heartbreaking to see. Um, so I'm trying to do what I can and I'm asking you to help join that mission. Um, I have this year around $25,000 of matchable money 
um, and there's still $10,000 that are matchable left, so if this inspires you and you want to donate and you want your donate to go twice or donation to go twice as far, um, yeah, go to my website ethanhunger.com slash hunger versus hunger and there's all the info on it and there's a donation link and all of those donations get matched. Every single dollar goes directly to the food bank, the website, um, the donation page is hosted by them and yeah, it means a lot. Now the people that come over to the Bellingham Food Bank, who are they? Uh, about 50% of them are either children or senior citizens. So that's majority of it. Um, it's an unbelievably big mix though. Um, and you'd be surprised at how many people any of us might know that do rely on the food bank right now. Tell us about your background. Have you been hungry? Is that why you're doing this? Because it's, it's an important cause and a lot of people start their causes because they've been affected by things like this. Yeah, um, for me it's actually quite the opposite. I grew up here and never once did I have to wonder where my next meal came from and I can't possibly imagine what that feels like. So part of the goal of my calorie challenge day is to just raise awareness for food insecurity in Walker County and how unbelievably unrelatable that issue is. Like we all have problems and it's it's not fair to compare our small like I don't want to call anyone's problems meaningless, but we have smaller problems that are often um, unfair when you look at the bigger picture of what other people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an important cause, and tell us about the challenge that you put up, that you do, because I think that's really interesting. Yeah, so on July 8th, I will be setting out at 2.30 in the morning to burn as many calories as I can in one day. It'll be um, 112 miles of road biking first, and then I'll be adding in a one-hour HIIT workout at JD Elite. Um, it's a HIIT gym in Bellingham, mm -hmm. and that'll be a community workout. So uh, 9.30 a.m., anyone who wants to come join can, and uh, it'll be a suggested donation class. Um, and then the rest of the day comprises of me running a marathon, swimming uh, between two and a half and three miles, uh, mountain biking, about six and then there's a finish line party at the very end in Fairhaven at Stone's Throw Brewery and my real estate firm, Bellweather Real Estate, will be matching donations live at the finish line. Um, so there will be a ton of fun stuff going on there, a lot of options to donate um, and I'm just going to try and make it to the end. Do you plan to have a crew behind you helping you and a coach? Do you have a coach? I do not have a coach. Um, I have a lot of friends who care and are awesome and family members um, and I will have people who do different little segments throughout the day or who meet up with me to give me water or food and everything but that's it. Do you have a Facebook page? Uh, I use my own, uh, my main social media to follow would be Hunger vs. Hunger on Instagram. So people can watch you as you do the event. We have live coverage? Um, not a live stream, but a live update. So between every leg, I'll be posting, like, just finished this, I'm at this many calories, you know, this much time. Ethan, kind of you're doing a wonderful thing. There's a lot of people out there that need your help, and I think you're, you're helping them a lot, and I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Ethan Hunger here on Adventures with Leo Shoemaker.